Hello, welcome. My name is Melanie, and if you're into fitness, self development, and small business, and all the things self care, follow for more. So, today we're doing my glute and quad workout. And first, I'm starting with hip thrust because it is the hardest of my exercise, at least one of the hardest. So, I'm starting with barbell hip thrust, and just make sure that you pick the way that is work for you that won't affect your form and as you go up make sure you squeeze on your ass this is actually more like of a pulse hip thrust i didn't really want to do like a full hip thrust because i don't want to tag in my hamstring i want to tag in more of my glutes so i'm doing this one but honestly guys if you are somebody that's scared to start lifting weight just do not be like i started with five pounds and i couldn't even do it but here i am moving on to Smith machine squat. We are using Smith machine squat today, and here I am taking off my shoes because I hate shoes clearly. So, but y'all see the booty pump, the boot is pumping anyway. So, the Smith machine squat for me, I just think I feel it more on my glue and my uh quad compared to using the, the freeway. Uh, squat bar it doesn't really do much for me and also it hurts my knee so here we are we're using this make sure again going down using the way that is comfortable for you and do as much as you can until you felt sore you see that girl if you do your workout like lightly and you don't do it until you fell most likely you won't see the grow as fast as you can so always do it until you fell and make sure you're using a comfortable way moving on to a killer which is a split squat jesus this hurts so much but it's so worth it and i don't use um the bench because the bench is i don't know either it's too high or too low for me this doesn't work so my my gym has this pad i think it's for legs extension or something so i've been using it to do my split squat as you see i was struggling at first but we got the form down so just make sure you find like a bench or something that is comfortable for you and pick the way that is comfortable for you and go for it it's gonna hurt but it's honestly one of the best exercise for your glute and your quad and it does the job just right I was gonna die but i made it so moving on to barbell ideal so as i said as before like i have a really really bad wrist injury like i've been off work for like over a year now because i'm not able to work but workout has been like my therapy and thing to work out i'm actually feeling much better so i first always using our, our dumbbell ideal by here we're just trying to push ourselves this year and taking spaces so i'm using um uh, barbell ideal to do some of my glute workout and just make sure you are bending your knees at the bottom so you can feel it guys and use the way that is convenient for you or a dumbbell that also work okay don't do the most if you cannot do it do what you can so moving on i forgot to uh switch the angle so i actually filmed the angle that i filmed for my tiktok which you can follow amela mop and here we're just doing some ab abduction workout which is the most awkward workout but i've been trying to do this more because i am trying to work on my side glute and this is the best one of the best exercise to work on target your side glute so if you haven't started yet get into it do at least two time i usually do like one um heavy and then the next set i do very light and just sit on it straight instead of like laying back so i can feel it more if that makes sense but definitely start doing this moving on we're doing um upper extension by glute focus once again my shoes is off i'm using a 45 uh, pound plate just to hold on to add the extra weight and i'm making sure i'm squeezing my butt as i go in and also my foot is like about 45 angle on the side it's not really straight because i'm not trying to tag in my back and i'm really trying to tag the, the glute this is honestly one of the best glute exercise if you squeeze and you just have the best form ever it will do the job i usually do this about two times a week and it does the job and just keep pushing yourself do the best that you can to a failure moving on we're gonna do on some leg uh extension because i would say leg extension is one of the best quad most of my exercise that we saw it did mostly focus on glutes so this one really i focus on the quad and after i did this i did single leg uh, extension just so i can feel my squat burning 
And when I tell you I was burning, I was burning, okay? Can you see my face? I was like dying. But it's all worth it. Like squad day is so long, but it's definitely my favorite day. Glute and quad are good days. So anyways, moving on, we're going to do some calf raises, standing calf raises, because I feel like the entire, my entire body is building and is growing instead of my calf. So this year, we're going to work on some calf girls. So here I am just doing some calf raises, which is, does the job. But I think next time I'll definitely give a try of doing sitting calf raises. That may be a thing. So, but yeah, make sure just you use the way that that is comfortable for you and go for it definitely this year if you're not comfortable with the exercise give it a try you'll be surprised what you can do and thank you guys for watching follow for more fitness and small business and self-development because i'm just here to help us all develop and be the greatest person you can